In 1977, the Washington United Christian Academy was founded on a vision. Things are changing. There are great challenges today than 35 years ago. There's amorality. There's no moral reference in education. It's just giving out the facts and also dispensing facts that are not facts, like the theory of evolution, presenting it as a fact. Uh, without giving the alternative model for uh, origins, which is intelligent design. We give them Christian education, basic, you know, Bible-based education. That is our great mission. They should know God, and they should do the perfect will of God in their lives. The mission of the school is first to shelter the children from the pollutions and the ungodliness and the unrighteousness that is going on around it. And every soul is precious before God. And my call is to shelter these children and give a safe heaven while they are getting a Christian moral spiritual education in a godly atmosphere where there is fear of God. We are preparing a future of these children. They should choose the right way. The school has been a great sacrifice. We don't collect enough income to run the school. All those who are working in the school are taking their job as a service unto the Lord. It's a charitable institution, more than a money-making institution. Last year, about 3,400 Christian-based schools have had to close their doors. We may not realize the impact that this will have today, but when we look into the future, that which we've tried to invest into the lives of our kids will be seen. And a generation of kids that are trying to make a difference in their world as good citizens, as upstanding members of society that are contributing, are not going to be there. The school is in a critical position right now because, because of the financial problems that occurred throughout the country this year. Many of the parents lost their jobs and lost their uh, homes and some had to take the children out. And many people owe money. We never took any of our parents for these 35 years to the court. We just forgave them and the burden was on the school. There is no question about the urgency of the need. Uh, no Christian school wants to operate in the red and right now we're operating in the red. The school is in a very deep financial problem. For our survival, we need a financial miracle. We need the support of our brethren in Christ. We need the support of the churches uh, and the home. This is the 10th building we are in right now. We moved from place to place. This year also we have to find a place and move. The number one challenge for Christian schools is to get the proper staff there and to pay them sufficiently so they can support their families. Well, the church should support Christian education. They should uh, support it financially, with their prayers, uh, with staffing, perhaps from the pulpit uh, mentioning that Christian schools need teachers. And it's a, a missionary job, just as like going to a foreign mission field. Throughout the last 35 years, the school has made an impact in hundreds of children's lives. I'm not only a friend, I'm not only a supporter, but I'm also an alumni. Some of our graduates, they became missionaries uh, in different places. My own daughter, she is working in Dominican Republic and Haiti for the last 11 years as a missionary. And several of our graduates, and some are doctors, engineers, computer programmers, some are working in the government, federal government and state government and local agencies and other private institutions. And they have become good citizens and having a good testimony. I think one of the biggest advantages of working in a Christian school and sending your kids to a Christian school is that you know the people there are going to be on the same page with you uh, philosophically and spiritually. We want to present you with this unique opportunity to support Christian education. So let's all come together to create a bright future.
for the Washington United Christian Academy.